Hi everybody, I'm back, or I think I am. Um, if you are new to um, this channel, um, this is a half of House of Stitch and Stash, and my name is Rika, and um, this channel is all about cross-stitching and um, anything crafty, really, um, that I would like to share with you all. So I know that I haven't been here in a long time. Um, I did a video a while ago um, of me um, beating a Mirabilia Zelda. And um, I was hoping to um, record a video for you guys so that I can update you on the projects that I'm working on and life in general. So um, I think the last time I spoke to you guys was last year which uh, is crazy because I can't believe uh, we're already mid-March and um, yeah, this year has just been going by um, quickly. So um, hopefully this lighting is going to be okay. We are in my sewing room, which is still a work in progress. Um, but right now it's just functional for me. Um, over here is my design wall. There's nothing on it right now because the quilt that was on it was um, is currently um, being sandwiched together and hopefully I can um, quilt it or be able to quilt it soon. Um, I did the stitch in the ditch and I'm going to try to show you guys um, that here shortly as much as I can because it's pretty big. But um, anyway, so um, it's uh, March... I have a planner now. Today is March 13th, um, 2019. It's a Wednesday and it's about 8.30 at night. And so hopefully this lighting is going to be okay so that I can record during the night too. Um, recording during the day is just sometimes I, I just don't have the time or I forget. And by the time I get to it, it's like my husband's home and I'm really trying not to record a video while he's here because he's gonna think I'm crazy. But anyway, he's here, but he's just downstairs. But anyway, I told him if he hears me talking, it means I'm talking to myself. So, um, or you guys, but anyway, so we just got back from an event um, and um, that was a lot of fun. And uh, what else? It's been a busy day. It's been very windy here in Oklahoma today, like super windy, but at least we were in the 60s. Uh, we just got back from a trip from Georgia uh sunday evening um my um step stepson graduated from ranger school and my husband was able to pin his um ranger tab on him which was a very special moment uh especially with us being a military family um it's just so nice to um see my husband uh kind of passing on that tradition to our son so that was great um the weather was beautiful. It was in the 70s, uh, different than Oklahoma, because Oklahoma, when we left here, it was, I think, in the 30s. And then um, it's been a very dreary couple of days when we got back, and then today was sunny, but it's just super windy. So if you guys can hear, I'm not sure if you will be able to hear it, but like the wind is like howling. So um, yeah, anyway. So that's pretty much like the life um, update I have. Um, obviously last year, the holiday season was very busy and then um, kind of slowed down a tiny bit when the new year went around and then right now it's picking up again. So um, hopefully though, I can keep up with um, floss tube. I'm really trying to be organized more at least that's my goal um, is to just be organized and um, do this more regularly so that I'm not having to think about what, what we talked about the last time. So um, obviously I've done a couple, quite a couple of hauls since then. So I'm not going to add those. I'm just going to add the ones that are from this week because I just can't remember what I've shared with you guys um, before. So um, yeah. Um, okay. Well, um, as I mentioned earlier, at, and with that wall, that's my design wall for quilting. So I um, recently picked up um, quilting and I just did my very first um, quilt. And I'm going to talk about that later on in the video if you're interested. 
and um, I've really just been having a good time and really enjoying the process. It's like it's a very it's a lot of learning um, curve with quilting, and so um, but yeah, but I can't wait just to share with you guys what I'm working on. So there's another quilt that's gonna go up there, but I'm really trying to be like one focus at a time. I can't do cross like kind of like cross stitching when I'm working on a ton of project. I just can't. I don't think I can do that. So um, anyway, okay, let's begin. So. I've made a floss tube video tracker, which I'm actually going to um, cut and put on my new planner. It's my new planner. And I'm designing a uh, floss tube um, planner and cross stitch planner that I can put on to insert into my new planner. Um, so, yeah, hopefully that can, that, that's going to make me organize more and do more of these. So, okay, let's begin. So um, I guess I can share with you guys my finishes. So the last time I spoke to you guys, I was still working on the garden party and I know that it was towards the end of it, but for some reason, uh, this project just went on and on and on. I, I, I couldn't finish the darn thing. So, um, but I finally managed to finish it at the beginning of January. And so I'm happy to share with you guys the garden party by Nora Corbett, Mar Mirabilia, and this is how it looks like. Hopefully that should be okay. I'm gonna have to get one of those boards, but for now, I hopefully you guys don't mind that um, you guys can see through it. So this is how it looks like. Finished. It just took forever. I think it's because um, I was kind of moving things around where my where I'm stitching, um, and I just like decided to just motivate myself to just get it done. So, anyway, um, super happy it's done. The beads are on there. I just need to figure out um, the kind of framing I want for it. It's just been uh, kind of difficult to figure to. Um, figure out if I want to send it to Jill Rensel or if I um, want to um, just have it done here. I'm thinking about just having it done here and then maybe I can put it up there on this wall because right now there's really nothing in this room like hanging wise because I'm using all the uh, wall space for uh, my quilt and um, really this one it looks like there's a wall space there but that's really where the door opens and normally this room the door is open um so yeah and then there's really there's really nowhere else to put things because i have my cutting table on my left hand side and then this is more of my assembly table and then i have my sewing machine and then my embroidery machine on the other side of the room so it's not that big of a room and but i feel like i need to add some color in in this room so maybe maybe i can put this thing up there so anyway yay that's my very first finish in floss to blend i'm so happy i feel like that's been such an ordeal i started this project um uh, just before my husband came home from deployment um last year last june and then um, we moved and it just got put in the back burner and I didn't stitch and then oh gosh life just kind of went crazy so yeah but I'm happy it's done okay and then the next project that I have which is I don't think I ever even showed you guys at all because this is a 2019 start and a 2019 finish so um this is it so this is sorry for if it's like uh if it's, it has wrinkles but I took her um, from took her to, uh, to show off at a cross stitch meetup yesterday, and it got smushed in my bag. But anyway, so this is um, Zelda by Mirabilia. Um, she is stitched on Picture This Plus um, Bashful, and is a thirty-two count. Oh my gosh, she looks so beautiful right there. I love pink, as you all can tell. I I love pink and purple and very girly. So 
this uh, project was started around January 15th. Let me see all like the details on the pillow and her dress. Isn't it beautiful? I freaking love her. I, this is like the fastest um, project I've ever stitched. Like I was just like, I'm going to finish her. I'm not going to go and do it. And I'm just so glad that um, she's, she's finished. So this one, I think I am going to um, send it to Jill Rensel to have framed because um, she's just, she's just stunning. I just love it. There's a lot of beads to it especially on the tassel on the pillow i thought that was never going to end but yeah but it's just it's so worth it so if you're thinking about stitching her please do so she's more, one of um the more recent mirabilia i think um she was released last december so yay i have two finishes oh my gosh who am I? Like, I just, I have no idea. I think what it is, is I joke around and I always tell my friends it's because Oklahoma has been super cold and super windy. And where we live, there's really not a whole lot of stuff to do. And so uh, I just been like surviving winter by cross stitching, which I'm not complaining about because I, I enjoyed every moment of it. And I've just become a more of a homebody. Like I don't want to go anywhere. So um, yeah, I I just love her. She's so great. Um, I'm thinking about maybe uh, showing her on like a more detailed video here shortly. Um, once I get my stuff together, so that you guys can see a more detail and close up of um, Zelda. So yay! I wish I have a bell and I can go happy finishes everyone. I just love how they have how Pat and Steph does that. It's so cute. So anyway, yay, I know I'm super pumped, super excited. I have two finishes in 2019 so far. So, so far so good. Um, it's been like, I have really, like my stitching mojo had been really good this um, past couple of months. And so, uh, yeah, just super excited. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and check those out and make sure that I talk about this. Yes, I have. Um, so now let's go move on to um, current whips. So current works in progress that I'm working on right now. So a couple of things. Um, I actually did not really start anything new. I'm, I just kind of been, I'm thinking about really finishing a couple of things. I thought about doing the stitch nine, but because I feel like I'm a little bit behind on that, I haven't really thought about um, what I really want to finish and because um i really wanted to finish zelda i just didn't think about like having other finishes um for this year but um I, yeah i haven't i haven't thought about finish, um starting anything yet except for this one project that i'm thinking about starting here shortly um and i explain why i want to start it so um okay let's begin so um my current whip so the one thing i'm really working on the past couple of days is actually uh, let me remove it from the scroll from the Q snap. Uh, sorry guys. Is uh, Lady Hera by Mirabilia. As you all know, I love Mirabilia. Ooh. And this is a January first start like right on January 1st for my new year, new start. And this is how it looks like right now. So I don't know what the fabric is. Um, I have no idea, but I got the fabric from Cross Stitch Station in Waynesboro, Virginia. And I never thought about asking the lady there that owns it, what the fabric was, but this was, actually cut for this this um project so i'm working on the peacock i decided to do a 10th stitch 10th stitch on the face and then doing the normal stitching on the body and then i'm also doing the 10th stitch on her face but obviously i'm working around it at a time so i don't get bored for um 
from it. So yeah, so I've really been enjoying stitching her. Um, I made a quite a few progress last week while we were in Georgia. Gosh, my hair. Sorry, guys. Um, so yeah, I've really been liking this one. Um, I actually just recently joined um, the school of uh, the school of magic and literature. No, school of stitch. School of what's my oh, duh, my phone's right here. The school of stitching, stitching, magical stitching and literature. I think everyone's been everyone's been um joining it, but it's the uh, like the Harry Potter, um like uh, group where uh, there's assignments every week, and so I've managed to in the last week and a half finish one work one assignment and finish. Um, the, the this one for this week, which was um, stitch uh, so three hundred, yes, yeah, three hundred of any of brown um, uh, color thread for the chocolate, which um, we're in year three right now, which is uh, book three of Harry Potter. So obviously, when um, when Dementors. Um, attack you you the way for you to get back your energy is by eating chocolates so um yeah so we're doing that challenge which i have finished um, by finishing the peacock on this project and then i've also um, finished obviously the uh, part about the uh, claws like stitch an object that has claws or talons and um if you hear my husband he's about to go to bed um, and he's talking to our dog. So um, this project has a peacock. So obviously peacocks have talons. And so I'm able to like use the, the one project for the, the, uh, the assignment for this week. So that's been kind of nice. So now I'm thinking about um, starting the extra credit challenges. But when I'm looking at my stash or my current projects, I don't know. Um, I don't really have a ton where I can use that or stitch with it I can apply with for the extra credit and so I need to like look at, really look at what I got and maybe start a couple of things so but I've really been enjoying that I think it's pretty cool it's so creative um that they put that together and they come up with all these challenges so it's really motivating for um, for me to stitch on a project and get those stitches in because I'm like counting and I just recently got one of those um, handy dandy um, stitch counter or row counter and from Joann's and so that's been very um, easy it's already been easier for me to stitch on the um, the projects so I'm not having to count every single one because I lose track so I pretty much uh, do give or take um, kind of estimate the stitches that I've made and so I don't know I'm kind of like I'm pretty sure I'm under the stitches I didn't want to go over so if there was like a couple of stitches that I'm that I'm, I'm unsure about I don't even um, collect it for a homework um, challenge so anyway so um, yeah Lady Hero by Mirabilia I really enjoy that one so far and then one of the other project that I've um, been working on was um, Hawk on Hollow by I will tell you this shortly. I had the pattern. Hawk Run Hollow by Carriage House Samplings. So I'm in February and that is how far I've gotten. Uh, my goal was to finish every block by each month, but um, because I was finishing trying to finish Zelda February was kind of put in the back burner and there's a ton of stitches on this heart and so it's kind of draining me a little bit but yeah um, and I also need to order more of this thread um, which is color and cotton shabby chic is the color that I'm using for the heart um, so I did a conversion of these instead of using NPI silk I've converted the colors to um, variegated threads, um, hand dyed threads. So then I have 
my needle minders from Flying Frog Stitchery and at Etsy. So this is being stitched on um, Weeks Dye Work. I don't know the name of the fabric, but it's, I'm pretty sure it's Weeks. And I don't know how I feel about it yet. Like, the, just, yeah, I don't know. This kind of linen is not my favorite, but I wanted to have that look. And, um, but this was, this fabric was cut specifically for this project because I wanted everything in one um, fabric. And I'm pretty sure this is a 32 count. Because I, I don't, I don't stitch um, higher than a 32 because I just can't see. So that is that for Hawker and Hollow. And then let me move all this stuff over here. Um, I've also been, I'm on a stitching um, sal with my friend Ella. And we are stitching um, the, this praiseworthy stitches going to grandma together. And right now, that is how it looks like. I'm started at the door, and um, for some reason, I'm missing a collar thread, so I haven't been able to continue. So I wanted to stitch on this part right here, where there is a a wreath that goes over here. But this is a Christmas um, project, so oops, so I have a couple of months left um, for it to be finished. So I'm not very I'm not very um, motivated to stitch on it, even though I really should be stitching her. Oh, I forgot to show you. So Lady Hero should look like this. And then I am um, the pattern for the going to grandma's, I don't have that right now. So um, I can try and, and show you guys uh, how, it should, how it should look like in my next video. So, but anyway, that is that going to grandma's. And then I've also um, started um, Red by Mirabilia um, around the end, like after Christmas. And this is how it looks like. I haven't actually stitched on her much um, because I changed the upper body, the skin, to um, Splendor, um, silk thread and um these is this was stitched on dmc before i switched so i need to actually rip it all of these and these were 10 10 stitches and so obviously i'm really gonna trying not to like i don't know we'll see i don't know i feel like maybe if i put the beads all over it you can't really tell or is it okay i don't know if it's okay what do you guys think do you think I should just keep it like that or should I rip it? And then uh, redo that part. So I have been enjoying this. It's just, I do need to stitch on it some more. So yeah, those are my whips. I've also been stitching on Florentina. Um, and I can probably show you guys that later. It's over there. And I what I what what for that project I just need to go and put her in my stitching bag so that I remember to stitch on her and be motivated to stitch on her. But you know, we all know I'm I don't know what I'm doing. This is how um, red should look like at the end once it's done. So that is that, and that is my current whips or at least current whips that that is currently in my stitching bag that I'm working on. Um, okay, yes, yeah. so I've done, I've talked about the finishes and my current works in progress. So now we can move on to um, my plans. So my plans are to stitch a lady here uh, more for um, the rest of the month of, of March to see how far I'm going to get to her. And then hopefully my goal is to finish the peacock in the next week um if i just finish on or focus on her because right now i think with zada being like her skirt was so massive that i'm kind of like not in the mood to stitch on a skirt so that's why i'm kind of working around um 
Lady Hera and her gown, but her gown isn't as fluffy as Zelda. As, um, Zelda. And so, um, yeah, I'm, right now my focus is the peacock, which I've really been enjoying the threads on that. Um, so that's my plan. And then I would really like to finish um, February for the Hawkrun Hollow and the March for uh, Hawkrun Hollow. So I don't know how that's going to be because it's already almost the 15th and um yeah i don't know because i'm looking at the march i don't know if it's gonna be as much as as much stitching as um this part but the good news about uh, working on these is i can claim um some of the stitches that i'm gonna be working on this on my um, school of magical stitches and literature and that is it that is it um, for the extra credit because I can work on the uh, border um, and then there's also like 500 stitches using black thread and the border for these are, are black so I don't know if I'm gonna I don't know I don't know which one I'm gonna put that claim first so I'm gonna need to look at my project because one of them is like work on a border or a frame and I might be able to have another project that like one of my whips that I can work on to claim that. It's also, all of these are like 500 stitches. So um, we'll see. I have until April to do the um, extra credit. So that's my plan, Feb February and March. And then I can, I can be caught up with um, Hawk on Hello for April. Um, and then my other plan is work on Enchanted Mermaid. Um, I have done all the stitching or the, the tent stitches on the body and the face. And so uh, I should be okay. I should be able to um, make good progress on the lower part of the body. So, uh, or not body, her tail. So um, yeah, that should be... Um, that should be uh, one of my go-to. So I'm going to put her back on the scroll, which is downstairs. Um, and I'm thinking about stitching her um, when my friends are here for, um, for a sip and stitch. So that's one of them. And then um, my plans are, um, if you're in the School of Magical Stitches and Literature, um, I want to work on the ex extra credit. Um, and my house is, I've just gotten my, um, my house. I'm a Gryffindor. Yay! Of course. So I'm super excited that I, I have now, I'm now in a house. And so, um, should be fun. And I'm really enjoying, I actually like love the fact that there's a group for that because when I was, when I'm stitching, um, I've been listening to Harry Potter audiobooks kind of on repeat because I love them so much. I just think that there's a good rhythm to it. So um, yeah, I love it. But um, yeah, working on work on that. So I need to look at my project to see what I can claim on the extra credit, what what I can apply to to it to earn fifty points for my house. Um, so we will see. So that's why um, I thought about um, stitching this one and doing a new start. This is a uh, Lila Studio Let Freedom Ring. There's a ton of black on these, I think. Actually, no, not really. But there's a border. There's a border right here. Um, and then I can also probably apply this to a place um, somewhere else somewhere else around the world and so I'm in Oklahoma and this is Pennsylvania so I need to go and double check if I can do that if I can claim something from another state so um, yeah I got this on our trip to San Antonio and I have all the called for threads which I need to find well there's some of them right here but then I need to find where I put all the variegated threads I need to make a project bag for it but um, I decided to use, or not use, but I found this fabric when my friend Ella and I went up to um, Silver Needle a couple of um, weeks ago. Actually, it's like a month ago. 
And this is a fabric I chose to use for um, Let Freedom Ring. And this fabric is the balloon. Sorry, the balloon. I think that's how you say it, the balloon. This is a 32 count and it's a uh, half. I don't, I don't know if I actually need all of it, but yes, it's so pretty. I think it's, it's going to look gorgeous. I love the marbling. I'm pretty sure this is pictured as plus. So yes, I just need to do the serge or stitch the edges up top and I can start on it. So maybe tomorrow, maybe. We'll see. I have all these projects I want to do. I feel like ugh, life is too short. I just want to go and start all the things, stitch all the things. So that's my plan. So maybe I can claim a couple of things for the extra credit for um, the School of Magical Stitches and Literature on um, the Lara Studio. So I need to really look at it actually to see if there are some things I can apply and ask questions on that page. So but yeah, those are my current plans. I don't know if I want to stitch on red. We will see how I feel um, about that. So, okay, doke. That is it for plans. Now, moving on to stash and haul. So these are just I don't not really getting anything um, cost stitching wise here in the last couple of weeks. I already have enough. I feel like I have enough stitching things I need I can work on. And then obviously because I've been working on quilt um i've just been kind of focusing on that and um oh my god i got something right here how come no one told me um i've been working on that and so yeah cool thing it had been one of my other obsessions lately and i've really just been enjoying it so um I can show you guys what I got. So these are um, the three Mirabilia patterns I got, which are out of print. Um, this is Damask Roses. Um, this was copyrighted in 1993. Holy moly. I think this is the very first one. I think this is the very first Mirabilia, I think. I need to double check. So I got that, and then I also got Elizabeth and the Lavender Sky, and this is Mary Bill number 10, um, copyrighted 1995. Um, and the next one is Millennium Angel, and this is number 27, copyright 1997. So those are that, and then, um, I got two fabrics from Color and Cotton, which is light tin. This is actually very, it was, it's actually very pretty. This was um, a um, fabric of the month. I love the color. I feel like a, a, a mermaid can go on it. It's a pretty blue grayish tone um, and this is a 28 count so I need to make sure to pick like a smaller mermaid to put on here make sure it fits so yeah I love it that is that and then I just got um, this one in the mail this is a 32 pound Belfast and it's called toasted coconut so it's more of a beige um, color which will be good for like a like a sampler or something I just I love color and cotton I just think that their dye process is a lot more subtle and um, it just fits a ton of projects. So, yes, I've been really enjoying that. And then that's really it. I haven't really been getting anything stitchy related. Um, although, um, as far as like 
um, quilting and embroidery goes. I did get the new um, Kimberbell design, Make Yourself at Home, right? As it came out with the embellishment pack. I also bought, um, I'll show you guys here. I also got the fat quarters for it um, just in case I mess up because the last time I did the Kimber Belt quilt which is my very first quilt I had to go back to the store a couple of times because I messed up and I had to get fabric replacement so uh, these are the fabric they look beautiful I'm not gonna open them I'm just gonna briefly show it to you guys um, it says it says uh, this is our happy place and little quotes they're kind of color coordinated right now so i love it but yeah very pretty and it looks like orange scheme yeah i think there's 36 fabric in this um um fat quarter bundle okay i really like this one a lot and then the same one the blue in a blue scheme um i also got um more of some of the fabric because we need it for the border and the backing So these are like the gray. Oh my gosh. Uh, I think there's 36 of these. I really love this. I like the color a lot. It's pretty. So khaki, khaki. Um, I lo also love these, the um, all the color scheme for it. And that, the white version and the white version. There's another one of these, but I already cut them. So um, for the block that I'm working on, but um, this is how uh, it's gonna look like when it's done. I really love this. I just feel like it really appeals to um, what I like, which is like houses, cause we moved so much. So I think that would be good. And now I'm gonna share with you guys. Um, oops. I'm gonna share with you guys the quilt that I'm currently working on. So, like I said, I mentioned to you guys that I've already finished doing the stitch in the ditch. So technically, it could be done now, but I'm gonna do the quilting on the block by block. So, so right here. So this is how it looks like right now. Um, there will be 3D embellishments on this. It still has some pins on them. Um, let me fold it. It says, um, it has like little quotes. Um, and then you see my backing. It's green because I thought that would be super cute. It looks like picnic table. So if you follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you've seen this already. So yeah, it's really big. It takes up that whole wall I have. And then if you want to see how it should look like in the end, excuse the noise, let's see there. Um, this is how it will look like in the end. So there's pinwheels and 3D flowers, felt flowers that's included on this. So my thought process is I'm gonna have it hanging up on the wall upstairs. We have a very large wall by uh, before our bedroom. So I'm thinking about changing that like seasonally. But I really love this one because I like summer a lot. So yeah, I'm obsessed with Kimberbell. It's super fun. 
I think the book and um, their detailed instruction is very well put together. So um, yeah, but anyway, so I mentioned to you guys earlier that I got a planner. This is the Happy Planner. And I know that they just came out with their spring line, but because I'm starting in the middle of the year and not in July, I went ahead and got the ones that you have, you can customize yourself. Yes, I got a sticker that looks like my Chloe bear, except this one has a white face. My Chloe has a pink bow. So I'm gonna see if I can change that to pink. But anyway, yeah, I feel like today I kind of put it together. And so far, so good. We will see how I keep up with this. But my thought too is I'm gonna um, add a section here for like floss tube. So I'm currently designing um, my floss tube inserts. Once this is cut and punched, it'll be perfect. Um, and yeah, I can use it for like whips and um, work, works in progress so that I know what project I can I should be working on or almost done and maybe have more finishes for this year. So yeah, um, I think that is it. Oh, I do want to do uh, three shout outs um, or at least the people that I've been watching currently. My currently um, floss tube obsessions are um, Stitching in Duda. I think everyone's been pretty much talked about these two ladies. Um, they're super funny and love them. And then um, I've also been watching Crafty Lisa. Uh, I've been kind of fascinated with her um, tackling uh, Chatelaine. That is one of my maybe one day stitching projects to do. So um, I love her. She's um, I like that she updates like vlog style and also do the updates. Like So I like that she has a couple of styles that you um, can watch so it's not super boring um, and then I also been watching Melissa from the Daily Mail um, she, I think she now has three floss tube videos but um, I found out about her from Pam and Steph from um, Just Keep Stitching she's very um, comfortable in the camera and like us people unless I'm like me I'm still I still feel weird about this every time you start it's like I don't even know what I'm saying um uh and she likes paper crafting so that's actually what she does before floss tube but she's also a cross stitcher so it's kind of nice to see her projects she, she stitch she's blah. she stitches a couple of mirabilia which obviously i love mirabilia so that's kind of um very um interesting and entertaining to me as well as other projects too so um yeah, that is it. So we're at 42 minutes in this and I can't believe I've been talking about 42 minutes. But anyway, I figured I'm gonna record it and it'd be done with it so that I can do this update. Um, I hope you guys are doing great and having a good week. And I hope to see you all soon that I don't have to take long in the next video. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching and um, I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.